In this review for the first exam, we're asked the impact of these transactions have on debt to worth or debt to equity ratio. And you'll remember that debt to equity is total liabilities over total shareholders equity. So in this case, total liabilities are 14,000 and total shareholders equity is equal to 22,900. So the debt to equity is 0.61, meaning the shareholders have uh, a greater say than the creditors. So let's look at these transactions. We record interest earned but not yet received on an investment, which means that we're going to increase interest receivable, which is a current asset account, and we're going to increase revenue. And if we increase revenue, that in turn increases shareholders' equity because we retain the net income in the business. And so if shareholders' equity is increasing, then the debt-to-equity ratio will go down. If we incurred and paid interest expense on a note payable, what that does is it increases interest expense, and we, um, which in turn decreases shareholders' equity. And we also decrease cash, which is a current asset, which has no impact on debt to equity. So if shareholders' equity is going down, that means debt to equity ratio will increase. In the next one, we've declared but not yet paid a dividend to the shareholders. So dividends is increasing. And we know that dividends increases decrease shareholders' equity because it's a contra account. And it's going to also increase dividends payable, which is a current liability. So notice that shareholders' equity is going down and liabilities are going up. So the numerator is going up, the denominator is going down, so the debt to equity will increase. In the next one, we provide a service for which cash was collected in a previous period. In other words, it was an unearned liability or a current liability. So if this is the case, then our revenue is going to increase, which in turn increases our shareholders' equity, but our current liabilities unearned are going to go down, which in turn makes my numerator smaller. So if this is the case, then the debt to equity will decrease because the numerator is getting smaller, the denominator is getting larger. And finally, we purchase inventory on account, which means I have a current asset that's getting larger and a current liability that's getting larger and so my numerator is getting larger. And uh, because of that, I am going to, um, my numerator is getting larger, so my debt to equity will get larger. So we purchase inventory on account. If we purchased inventory for cash, there would be no effect, correct? But because we're buying it on account, there is an impact because it impacts the liabilities. So hopefully that helps.